Hey, welcome back to Duke's Drinks, where we simplify the drink making process to drastically improve your life. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you five common and simple drinks made using only the aluminum can that they came with. Let me show you some examples. Pretty cool, right? Well, here's the thing. There's no such thing as Duke's drinks, plus they messed up on the logo on my cap. This is just another episode of Tool Talk. But you're probably wondering how I made these really cool drinks using just the aluminum cans by themselves with no tops. So a few months ago, I was flipping through my Instagram and I stopped when I saw this new tool that completely and safely removes the top of an aluminum can. I thought, wow, I've got to have this thing. I immediately understood the benefits. So I reached out to them and I said, hey guys, send me one. I'd like to check this out. Maybe I'll talk about it. So this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me the product for free with the hope that I like it and that I'd talk about it. Well, here's the tool I'm talking about, and I've actually had it for a couple of months now, and I've had plenty of time to test it out and have friends take a stab at it too. It's called Draft Top, a patent pending bar tool that safely removes the top of any eight to 16 ounce aluminum can, leaving no sharp edges so that you can drink from it like you do any other normal glass or cup. It'll change the way that you drink soda and beer because you can actually smell the drink instead of smashing your nose up to the aluminum and smelling, well, aluminum instead, yuck. So how this tool works is pretty simple. It grabs the top of your can with these four round splitters that are at the bottom. They press outward towards the inside rim of the can. And as you grab and turn the tool, it separates the top from the rim by folding the aluminum into itself. By the way, the splitters here on the bottom aren't sharp at all. All right, let's demonstrate this draft top tool on this can of ginger ale. First thing that you wanna do is grab it and use this lever on the side to open up those splitters. They have to be all the way open. And usually I stick a finger in there while I'm putting it on the can just to make sure that it doesn't close up on me because you wanna put those splitters in there so that they're nice and snug on the inside of the rim of the can before you start to close it with that handle, that lever on the side. You wanna make sure you've got a nice firm grip so you can wiggle it around a little bit or even let go of your hand. And if that is the case, then you know you're good to go at this point. Now squeeze the tool firmly and rotate about 90 degrees. Now what I found out is that sometimes it could take more or less time depending on the type of can, your amount of pressure on the tool and how much that you twist. Now the trick that I've learned the hard way is to make sure that you grab up here at the very top or down here at the bottom. Those are the two places where the can is the most rigid. Where you don't wanna hold it while you're doing this is in the middle because you're just gonna end up with a big old twisted mess. You can either remove the top with your hands, that's usually what I do, or you can use the tool. It comes with this handy feature where you can just kind of rotate it in like this and then push it all the way in. And just like that, you've turned an aluminum can into a pint glass. So here's an empty can that I've already removed the top of. I'm gonna move my fingers around the inside of the rim here. You can see it's pretty smooth. You're not gonna get cut. And if you are, it's gonna be on the inside. Your mouth is never gonna get in there. Um, your mouth is typically going to just rest on the outside here. Same thing goes for the top that was removed. There are some sharp edges here, but you're really not going to cut yourself. I'm going to go all the way around here with my fingers and my fingers are not going to get cut up. Now, with that being said, they advise, and I do too, that you check inside the can down there at the bottom before you drink it, just to make sure that there aren't any aluminum shavings. Now, you are using a tool that cuts aluminum, so it would be foolish to think that it's 100% foolproof. I've yet to encounter any shavings or any sharp edges any time that I've used this tool, and I've used it at least a couple dozen times. Okay, let's demonstrate the draft top tool on a few more cans. There is another thing that you could do, which is to pop it first, like that just before you use the tool so that you have something when it's falling in to grab if you like to remove it like I do. So that's another trick. You can leave it closed or you can pop it. So let's go ahead and try it with the LaCroix. Grab towards the top, twisty twist. Come on now, I can hear it cracking. Oh, 
that's a good sound. Okay, take this off, use the tool to break it. Square to my hand a little bit there, and I can grab that tab. Pull it out. Okay, LaCroix, the light, you're next. Nice and flat on top. Make sure it's gripped and go. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go left this time. I think I went right last time. I'm gonna go left. I must not have it flat. Let's try that again. Come on now. There it goes. See what I mean? Sometimes some of these cans take a little bit more effort than others. So Bud Light's done. Let's just go ahead and leave, leave that one in there. Coors Light, the Silver Bullet, the C minus. I'm gonna go right on this one. Bud Light, I went left. Coors, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna use the tool this time again. Pop it in. And of course, the ever popular classic Coca-Cola. We'll go left on this one. Oops, I knew I wasn't on there right. Let's try that again. Need to do the test. There's the test, one hand. Okay, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is getting caught up on the pull tab. Okay, what's going on Coke? I did it before, there's one over here. I'm gonna go right this time. Ah, that sounds better. Coca-Cola did not like, like going left. Okay, pop in the top with the tool. Oh, I made a little bit of a mess there. Let's go ahead and take this one out. A little bit of a mess here. That's expected. There's the tops. Take the top out of the Coors Light. Top out of the Bud Light. He's just floating in there. And there they all are. Again, no sharp edges on any of these. Check that out. Got some messy hands here, but Pretty successful, I would say. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. So why is this tool so freaking cool? Well, like I said earlier, when the top is completely open like this, you smell the aromas. It's not trapped by the lid. So you typically drink a beverage like this, right? Well, with the lid on there, it's trapping the aromas. And so this way you get to smell the aromas and it tastes a lot better. Now this is really cool, especially if you're a beer drinker. So here's another big difference of having the top off. Well, with the top on, it's coming out of this little tiny small hole and it's agitated because there's not a whole lot of air going on here. So it goes right to the back of your tongue, bypassing a whole bunch of the taste buds that you do have in your mouth. With this off, well, there's no restriction whatsoever, right? So not only do you get the aromas with your nose, but you get that full experience, your full taste buds are going crazy and you get that experience much like you do a draft soda or a draft beer. Now, when you're all done, you can recycle it or you can rinse it out and repurpose it for other purposes like holding pens and pencils or office supplies or nuts and bolts or really whatever else you can possibly think of. Or you can pop it in your dishwasher, give it a good rinse, and then use it again for another drink later. Oh my gosh. So, what's my honest review of the draft top? Well, my first reaction was, how come it took so long for this to be invented? How come it took so long for this to exist? Because drinking beer this way or soda, it's a game changer. Smelling the beer while you're drinking it is so much better and not having to drink it out of a tiny hole like some kid's sippy cup is way better. Sure, you can pour the drink into a red Solo cup or glass, but then you've got to clean the glass or if you use a plastic cup, you've got double the waste, the aluminum can and the plastic cup. Plus there are places where you can't bring a glass like some public pools and beaches. Just bring this tool with you and pop that top off. It's well made and even though it can be sometimes a little bit finicky requiring I put the tool back on and cut it a little bit more, it always works. It's easy to clean just by rinsing it off with some warm water after each use. And it's also made right here in the USA, so I appreciate that. 
So this little guy goes for $22 US and it's cheaper if you buy them in multiples. You can learn more by going to drafttop.com. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm.